You're listening to CYOP, Create Your Own Pod Venture, Appeal. This branching story follows your choices, changing as you respond to what the story places in your path. What's waiting for you at the end? Keep moving forward and find out. Now, where were we? After you left the hospital, you decided to invest more time into Appeal's functionality. After several months, you took it out on another field test where it told you to integrate with another person. You've decided to integrate the woman's hardware. The headset sits heavy on your face. The Velcro is tight behind your head, the electrodes warm against your flesh. It's the only embrace you've felt in some time. Appeal knows what's best for you, right? It's never led you wrong before, right? If it's telling you to integrate these people, then you need to integrate these people. After all, it's been so long since you last saw people. Sure, you were isolated, but no one came to check on you, except for the bills and food delivery. Who took the initiative and visited you? No text messages, no phone calls, no contacts. Not like when you were with Charlie. Back then, people were in and out of your shared apartment on a near daily basis. Appeal is simply telling you the quickest way to ensure you'll never be alone again. The woman your headset originally highlighted was gone. Somewhere. You've lost her trail. But another waypoint has appeared, and it's following a young man across the street. Your apartment isn't in a busy part of the suburbs, so the number of people on the sidewalk is low. You move parallel to him, and the waypoint stays steady. You recognize him, vaguely. Some college kid. Always has a messenger bag on him. Thick rim glasses, patchwork battle jacket, even in the hot summer. You don't know where he's going, only that you need to integrate him, as directed by appeal. Integrate. You cross the street without bothering to check for cars. The guy is about 20 feet ahead of you, walking towards the bus stop. You speed up, your shoes slapping against the concrete. The noise seems to draw his attention, and he glances over his shoulder to you, then increases his pace. You don't stop. Appeal knows what you need, and it shows you the fastest way to obtain it. And so far, it's telling you to integrate. Your target breaks into a full run, past the bus stop, and you match his speed. He's shouting something, but you don't bother to listen. Despite the pain in your ankle, you gain on him. His eyes are wide as you get closer, and he shouts as you throw yourself forward. Your arms wrap around his waist, and you both fall on the sidewalk. He continues shouting, and his hands scramble at your face as you hold him down. You try to restrain his flailing, but one of his hands knocks a peel off your face. The headset falls to the sidewalk, where it breaks into pieces. You get a hand around his wrist and hold it back as you lean down and bite, deep, into the side of his neck. Something warm and wet sprays across your face, and for a while, all you see is red. Eventually, you're pulled from him. Eventually, you come to in a barred and locked room. You're there for a day and then summoned into another room where you're consulted by a lawyer, a public defender. Things are fuzzy. You remember attacking someone in the street under broad daylight. You remember the headset getting knocked off your face, the sight of your closest companion shattering on the asphalt. You remember biting into that guy's neck. Your lawyer's words are perfunctory, scripted. It's clear you have no true allies. There's a trial, but it's more for formalities than anything else. Criminal insanity is the defense, and you plead guilty. You wait in a cell until you're sentenced to several years in a psychiatric hospital. You spend the rest of your life in a padded room under the watchful eye of white-clad attendants. The occasional pill keeps your mind in a fog, but for the first time in a long while, you don't have to worry about making your own decisions. You've been locked away for the rest of your life. The end. Hey, thanks for listening. You've just completed a run-through of Create Your Own Pod Venture, Appeal, an audio drama written and produced by some nobodies at Grimwise Studios in Boulder County, Colorado. CYOP Appeal was edited by Zach Wiseman, written by Dylan Terry, and directed by Zach Wiseman and Dylan Terry. The original score for Appeal was composed by Jared Allen Gleason. CYOP Appeal stars Zach Wiseman, Suzanne Grimmer, Harrison Webb, Kayla Four, and Michael Colby, with other voices provided by Dylan Terry. 
Think you might have missed some of them? Go back, you can find their characters along a different story path. The story for CYOP Appeal was first developed by Zack and Dylan on episode 7 of Talking Upstream, a weekly show hosted by some nobodies on the Pod TV and Scene Snobs networks. You can keep up with Some Nobodies by visiting www.somenobodies.com, and if you want to help support them, visit patreon.com slash some nobodies. If you do, you can add your name to the following list of supporters. Scott Curtis, Sarah Dukacic, Tonya Sheck, and the Listener Podcast app with a very special thanks to Jim Ede of the Ede Foundation. Please give CYOP Appeal five stars on your favorite podcast platform and visit facebook.com slash CYOPod to show us which endings you've discovered. To find the rest of the Some Nobody's Family of Podcasts, you can search for Silicon Angels, the podcast podcast, a podcast show, Talking Upstream, Twitching Upstream, or you can catch Zach and Dylan on The Real Boys on your chosen platform. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon.